remember I was writing oh, 5G on my leaflet. I was putting five masks refused so far. And then the lady in charge of Sidica said, make it six. And then before I got to the end, she said, make it seven. Yeah. Would you like to raise awareness about the dangers of 5G in your local area? Get your Keep Britain 5G radiation free stickers today. For more information, contact me at www.5gawareness.com forward slash contact. So we've got Ellen and Megan here today. Yeah, they've got some news to share about 5G. So what was the success you had? Um, so far in Bristol, uh, we have stopped seven out of eight masks, and that's literally in the last two or three weeks. We've just been uh, leafleting people. We have been working on the whole thing since last year, but then what happened recently is that we actually, um, we actually under COVID, it's kind of crystallized our efforts because what we found is suddenly we were preparing for this and all of a sudden they're all being rolled out under lockdown um so we found a way now we're getting to be better we're still learning and doing as we go but we're finding that getting to local residents we produce a template and then we put local information on there the link we put a bit link on the flyer, we make a flyer, and then from the flyer we put a bit link, and that takes you into a template when you just type that in the computer that gives you all the information that you need, basically, to object, including a link to the actual objection. You can look at other people's objections and copy and paste from theirs. That's the beauty of it, it's public information, so you can look for yourself, see what they've done. What a lot of people don't know is that you can object, not just in your area, but anywhere in the country. Council sites allow that. So at the bottom, you either tick if you're a neighbor, so it's not your actual area, but nearby, or you can tick other. And if you tick other, you could actually even say, I have a friend or family that lives in that area. I'm not very happy about it, you know, but the council, the key thing if you object, this is key, is that you mention the site of it, uh, S-I-T-E, and the appearance, because the government have instructed councils to only accept objections on that basis. But what we're doing with doing that and saying it's an ugly thing and uh, we don't want it and it's near a green space and it's going to tower above the trees and then we put the, the health concerns and we give the quotes from fire medical the hire the ehs trust the bioinitiative.org um uh, safe EM, safe emr.com so then people that starts people going but they can the, once they realize it's not difficult you know and uh, you've got half an hour to put it in but even if it times out you can go back in because it keeps it for you so cut and paste it get in there and do it so several a few weeks you've stopped how many seven seven out of eight seven so out of one eight masks. but that was actually on council property so we're now wondering yeah. if there's been some instruction that people can actually um the, the council can't really refuse them on their own uh buildings that they own right but where they put it on other spaces we've managed to stop everyone even right wow. at the gateway to bristol wow so, can we have a quick look at the leaflet here uh, we've got a few there's that one so i'm just going to see if people can see the text and we put QR scanners, uh, scanners on, on our Bitlink leaflet as right. well so that they can act. We've got a person, oh, amazing great. person, called Siddika who, who yeah. correlates that. Okay. We're a group. Can it's, we see the flip side? Yeah. And this is where a lot of the information is, including our group. Look. Sorry. Great. And That's another, another one there. One. Oh, okay. We just got the same back to it. Banksy art. Banksy. Yeah. Wow. Is there a flip side to that? It's the same. Oh, the same. Okay, got it. Got Some people like this wildlife thing. And you've got this green. Thing. Yeah. And we've got a how green is 5G, but that's a few pages. That's four. Right. Okay. Is there a back? Yeah. Okay, yep, go ahead, yeah. Okay. Great. See, people can pause this and just read through. Yeah. That's fantastic. And then on the back. And if people have any questions, 
How can they contact both of you? Get in touch with us through the Facebook. The Facebook is on the back here. Thank you so much. Okay. Stop5g.co.uk Stop forward slash Bristol. That's our okay. website. And then, sure. yeah, we're Bristol Residents Against 5G Technology. That's great. Yeah, would you like to add Yeah, I mean, I joined relatively recently. I've been in other truth-seeking groups, and I sat on a Zoom meeting, because the way we're meeting at the moment is through Zooms, and um, very quickly got allocated a mask in the um, Bristol St. Paul's area, which is where I've worked as a nurse for many, many years. So I was delighted really to, um, to, to get my, my teeth into that one. There was plenty of instruction. Sadiqa, as we mentioned, was really good at um, encouraging us. Uh, plenty of, we're on a WhatsApp group as well. So lots and lots of instruction, what to do, lots of help, what to do. We do a little bit of IT work. We get a little bit of stuff put on, on templates on the website. We get it checked over. And then it's about leafleting and talking wow. to people in the local community. And sure. uh, the team is so encouraging. Um, and, and for me, that was a wonderful thing. And when you get hits like we've had this week, wow, that's great. Um, and so we're all quite passionate about it, aren't we? Yeah. I remember I was writing oh, 5G on my leaflet. I was putting five masks refused so far. And then the lady in charge of the said, make it six. And then before I got to the end, she said, make it seven. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So, you know, you know we're, 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 we're buoyed up by that. Moment, yeah. 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 And, but it's, That's it's amazing because the one that didn't get um, refused had an awful lot of input on it, didn't it? I think we were all up there at some point, yeah. leafleting. Yeah. There must have been well over 150, I Schools think. Schools nearby. Uh, you know, and it had a lot of work put into it. So that, just, that was uh, interesting that why that got uh, uh, approved planning permission. So yeah. Yeah. these things we'll, wow. we'll have to be that looking at. The end of the road. Right. Right. We'll be doing photo calls because we've got a lot of Bristol residents yeah. in that building yeah. who were there yeah. up for kind of challenging it. But they right. were mostly pensioners. It was care. Yeah, place where residential care for the elderly, so and that got yeah. accepted there. Yeah, mm. so crazy. That's, you know, that's a little bit of uh, why would that get upset? Because those people are going to come to harm. Yeah, uh, exactly. With the antennae right above them as well. Of course they look, are. Look yeah. for objections as well. I look for mistakes they've made. So addresses. Sometimes they make mistakes. There's never a health and safety certificate. Right. Um, there just isn't, and nor is there a certificate for exclusion zone, i.e. the area that's affected by the mask, because they right. don't know it, they don't no. have it, and that's something they need by law. Yes. So when you start to get that, what you could do is look at, um, you could look at some of the Bristol planning applications, for instance, right. or, and have a look at what people have written, because they're open to the public. It's, you just look under, you go into the look at planning application, it'll be the same in your area, right. and then you'll get you'll type in, just another little um, tip, type in monopole in the search for the council uh, planning. Monopole gets it. If you put mast or antenna, it doesn't work. But if you put monopole, you'll suddenly get a list of them all, and then you can look and see the ones. See so your town area. and monopole, Mo right? Yeah. So going to your council, right. when you get pla look at uh, and track planning applications is what it usually says. Right. And then eventually you'll get to a little search box. And when it says search, just put monopole, M-O-N-O-P-O-L-E. Right. This is on your tech council's website. Yeah. You, okay. Yeah. Put that in and then you'll get a list of everything that says monopole in wow. your uh, And they're all the 5G masks. Otherwise you'll be ploughing through for ages. But yeah. definitely put monopole. That's really helpful. And the yeah. templates are on your website there, the stop5g.co.uk yeah, Bristol. Yeah, Facebook. Um, Great. So yeah. people can contact you. Are you both on Facebook or? Um, no, but the, the, the group is on there. Just the website? Yeah, okay. There. The group is on there. Yeah. Yeah. What's the group called again? Um, <laughs> well, we've got a few going. So got, if, yeah. if we put stop5g.co.uk stop forward slash Bristol. Okay. Sure. That's great. Bristol Residents Against 5G. Yeah. Thank you so much.